Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about an example. Uh, how can we add and remove a text box to a form by using JavaScript? So, uh, if you can see here, we have an add button. If you can click add, a text box should be added here. Hobbies one, hobbies two, hobbies three, something like this. For every text box opposite, just I'm keeping my iPhone button, nothing but minus button. So here, plus means adding, uh, minus means removing. If you can click the minus button, the box should be removed. If you can click the plus button and it has to add a new box to the form let us go to the action here here just i'm using the bootstrap here to create the form and let us create the form with the fields we have shown in the diagram do you see username email and hobbies we have only three text boxes let me create them quickly take a form tag here so form method equal to post action is equal to empty so right now i'm giving empty action that's it so we know right bootstrap form fields form group is a do form group do contains a label field and an input field one is label and one more is input field Label is for username as shown in the slide username and uh, take an input field here input type equal to text don't worry about the design concentrate on the concentrate on the functionality so id is uname and the bootstrap class we have to design this text box that is nothing but form hyphen control just control c o n t r o l control let us see the output of it up to here so one text box is created and this is the text box created for us right in the same manner let me copy paste for the one more text box here this is and one more i just want to go with this is email and id is going to be id and name is going to be the same and i want to go with the third one is going to be hobbies h o b b i e s hobbies and this is going to be hobby all right h o b b i e s hobbies but it should be an array so generally uh, if you want to uh, get the hobbies nothing but not only one hobby here so hobby one hobby two hobby three like this hobbies name when we are getting multiple values with the same name then it is better to give with the array symbol otherwise the existing value overrides the new value for example if you enter 10 hobbies so finally we will get the latest value so we can get all the 10 hobbies so if you can take it into an array it will get all it will it can store all the values array can hold multiple values so the name should be an array generally for server side processing we will use this but anyhow i will go with the javascript here so how can we get the data and all if you are using php or java or dot net anything so then they will take the name as an array to hold multiple values and id i am going to generate this hobbies underscore zero initially so i want to go hobbies underscore zero here so whatever the text boxes we are generating for this text boxes i will give it as a hobbies underscore one hobbies underscore two based on the thing so here i need to add an input field also input type equal to button and uh, id is equal to id okay and uh, add a class here and uh, one more thing i want to add the value equal to just plus symbol guys that's it so let us see the output of it uh, can you see a text box is there here but this text box should be right side as shown in the slides right let us go there and let us write some uh, <coughs> let us write some class for this my box class i'm writing for this let me write some css guys go to css dot <coughs> i just added some css please check the css here once again and here you can go and refresh it it was in the right side but i want to reduce that hobbies do also for this also let me write small input uh, a small class for this only for hobbies not for all the fields so here we have already a class let me write this as a my input my input and for this i just want to reduce the width of it actual width is 100 percent let me reduce the width as 97 percentage or something like this 
with 97 percentage and let me write this as an important maybe bootstrap styles may overrides right so that's the reason i just written and refresh it now you can check it this is the text box when the user clicks this add button a new text box should be added so let me write a function on the same here class c uh, sorry so this is going to be on click equal to i am writing a small function called add box once the user clicks this add box the top box should be added to this div dynamically and moreover i want to take one more div here to this div we need to append all the or uh, text boxes we are generating dynamically hob is my div hob is just i am taking so to this div we just need to append it and uh, what i want to do everything i want to keep into a form group and form group contain a label and it should contain an input field the same i want to generate by clicking this add box function let us define the add box function here function add box so here i want to create a div element by using javascript so we have a method called document dot create element and create a two and add the add some attributes to it. One is class attribute and one more is ID attribute. I just want to add. So let us go and add it. First of all, let me create it. Do var take a variable document dot create element is a predefined method in JavaScript DOM. So element is going to be created and pass the element which elements you want to create. I want to create a div element to this div element. I want to add two attributes. So by writing this statement element will be created. So to this div, I want to add two attributes. One is class attribute. One is ID attribute. Let me take this div dot set attribute set attribute is a predefined method in the DOM by using this we can add an attribute to an element. I want to add a class form hyphen group. Now I want to add an ID also. This ID is going to be. Let us take something called box underscore. Uh, I want to increment the ID. So we uh, see we we may enter uh, more text boxes. I mean we may click the time. We may click this add button more times. Then more divs will be created. For every div, I want to add one any ID. So let us do one thing. Let me take a variable here. So where counter is equal to 1 initially i'm i'm starting with counter 1 so this counter i just want to append to it just add it so then the div id will be every click for every click uh, id is going to be generated new id so box 1 box 2 box 3 box 4 like this at the end of it i will increment the counter also right div is generated for this div we have to add so let us take a text box here where text box equal to something like or else uh, we can take a variable here where text box if concatenation required yes we can define the variable here with an empty string here that's it now we have to use it then where where is not required here then text box is equal to or plus equal to i think uh, okay let us do here text box plus equal to first of all we have a label l a b e l label label what is the label here this is going to be h o p b i e s hobbies or uh, take it a variable or concatenation is not required everything we can keep it into a variable hobbies and here i just want to go with the input type equal to input type equal to text nothing the same we have to copy here hobbies name and this is going to be copied yeah you can copy this also we just i just want to keep the same input field here yes now so we have double quotes right sorry in place of the double quotes we have to take single quotes otherwise let me make everything into a single quote here so done so here yes guys this is the text box this text box needs to be added but here id should be dynamic right so what i want to do here let me concatenate the id counter at the end of it we have to make counter plus plus right so now once done and here uh, this is add box only but uh, for every box which we are generating the value should be iphone this is going to be remove box right let us add this method Le okay later we can add the method uh, guys on click equal to remove box right now or else you can write it remove box okay 
so this is going to be remove and this is going to be add right let us see and whatever the text box we generated let us bind this text box to this do hop do uh, we have a method called first of all we have to append it right so do dot inner html it's a property just append the text box to it text box was appended now this do whatever the do you are generating the do should be binded to this hop so let us get the do also here where hob equal to document dot get element by id get element element by id what is the id of that do hop to this we have to append it so we have a method called append child so i just want to write hob dot app end child child is a method so to this child so we have to add this do guys whatever the do we generated for this do we are adding some attributes and we are adding some text also now this is going to be do append child of do at the end of it i want to increment counter plus plus that's it now we will see whether the text boxes are adding to the particular do or not let us go and refresh the page and once you click on it so it has to add a text box but this is coming like this i need to check it something was missed here um, small code problem i think so let us check it now let me click it Say just the code is missed there right we are getting the same right so this is what uh, if i click the remove button it has to remove and like like this the boxes are adding let us adjust this uh, uh, i uh, delete button also just now i added the small class called my box guys to this and now if we can refresh it it is going to work properly and check it now this is what exactly now if i click the remove button the box should be removed guys let us see how it is going to be removed and all so we have already written a function on the same and this is remove box right so when the user clicks i want to remove that based on the index of the button so for example input type equal to something and this is what exactly the counter of it and for this do also we have the counter right so let us write this uh, remove of this remove box of this right this means current element if you can click that current element i will find the parent of the current element i will remove that particular do guys based on the index so let us write the function remove box of this current element is going to be available in this variable right this is here this is the current element that reference was available in this ele variable from this ele variable i just want to find the parent of it and uh, i want to remove it we have a remove method in the dom by using that remove method we can remove the element let us see how we can remove we have here element dot first of all let us find this uh, first let me print it first of all what is the value of ele here so how can we get the parent node and all right let us go and uh, check in the console i'm just adding a button here okay when you are clicking this can you see this is going to give the current text box this means current element right that ele is holding the current value this parent i mean what is who is the parent of this do so this do parent is going to be this this is the do we are generating with an id or else we can check in the inspect also who is the father of the do which we generated just now can you see here this is the do i generated the do father is here box one if you can click one more do then who is the father of this it is going to be box two something like this the div is going to be generated this is box two so the father i want to delete it based on the id so parent node just you can no need to write so if you can write the thing dot parent node we have a, a property called parent node and check the parent node property and now you can refresh it one more time add one more box now and if i click this negative button you will find the parent node of the element can you see this is the parent node this parent node i just want to remove it just write the property call method call we have a method call remove method that's it it is going to remove that element guys so we don't need to write the console.log now right just uh, avoid this now you can check it carefully this is what exactly how we can add and remove the boxes added 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 i'm removing it and removing it it removing it if you want to add one more yes you can add click on keep on adding so if you want to change this number also for example this is hobbies one hobbies two hobbies three like this if you want and go to the label here and just add the counter concatenation that's enough here so here let me take double quotes plus plus 
co untr counter now you can see it will become like this hobby one hobby two hobby three something like this now you can just add hobbies one click on hobbies two hobbies three something like this right and keep the save button also or save button or submit button and post the data to server whatever we are collecting here so either by using ajax or some other you can send the data to database yes guys this is how uh, how can we add a text box and remove a text box from the form dynamically so now i deleted one i deleted three so which one you click it to delete that box should be deleted guys this is simple action how can we add and remove a text box from your form thank you guys if you have any doubts please comment under the video section thank you all